Good morning. Firstly, I'd like to thank uh, <coughs> Akhi Das uh, for making this happen, for launching this program in Hyderabad and Telangana. Um, we all know the power of Facebook. We'll uh, talk about it in a bit. Uh, I'd lo also like to uh, welcome Ambassador Vinay Tamalpalli, who's a son of the soil, who's made us all proud in uh, the US and uh, who's appointed as uh, the ambassador to Belize, and uh, who's somebody now was leading in the Obama administration, the Select USA, um, uh, which which basically is inviting a lot of uh, investments into the U.S. and which basically is a talk, trying to link up, you know, the various interests across the world uh, to that of America. Our IT secretary, Mr. J. S. Ranjan, and uh, to all the wonderful uh, audience, uh, to all the wonderful in, uh, you know people who are trying to leverage Facebook to boost their business, and to all my friends from the media, um, we all know the power of social media already. Now I think uh, as, uh, as we all recognize and as we all understand, the traditional media's boundaries, the traditional media's capabilities, traditional media's outreach essentially is being challenged by social media. I was just uh, uh, interacting with a few, in, a few uh, vibrant entrepreneurs before I stepped onto the dais here. One is uh, Nihar. Nihar uh, uses Facebook to boost his business. He's into medical diagnostics. He's into uh, comparative uh, uh, analysis and, comp and basically giving information to his um, customers on comparative, uh, uh, to comparative, uh, you know, um, products that there are in terms of medical diagnostics across uh, the country in various cities. And I was also interacting with somebody who was very, who was very interesting, Kalpana Rajesh. She uses Facebook. She has about uh, 100,000 followers on Facebook. And she does something very, very, uh, uh, very, very Indian, if you ask me. She does what's, what's called, uh, for those of you in the audience who understand Telugu, she does what is called the Penli Pula Jada. Basically, uh, you know, decking up uh, uh, the, the bride at the time of uh, a marriage. And she has 100,000 followers there. And she's really boosted her business and she has no other outlet other than uh, uh, Facebook. So, so happy to note uh, somebody who's left her software job actually taken this as a full-time thing because after the response she received from uh, uh, the, the, the customers, I think she's just decided that this is a better thing to do. Now she employs about 200 people. So that's the kind of power there is. And now, then also met in the brief time that I had here, Melanie Gabriel, who runs uh, what is called the Chocolate Haven. She's into something uh, that we all love, cakes. Uh, she basically also has 100,000 followers and uh, she, she's doing amazing stuff. I was just checking with her. She also does uh, sugar-free cakes and she said, uh, yeah, she's thinking about it and she already does some, but she's thinking about some more. Point is, these three are shining examples of what can be done, what can be achieved through this new media that there is for us, uh, you know, which is available to us free of cost. Today in India, I'm told Facebook has about 125 million followers. Correct me if I'm wrong. 125 million followers. I don't think there is any traditional media out there which can boast of a similar outreach. I don't think there's any one single form of media which can actually say I have, uh, say, 100 million followers. I don't think there's any. So the kind of power that there is in social media today, if it is harnessed properly, if it is exploited to the hilt, I think what can be done is here in the form of uh, the three people that I mentioned, Nihar, Kalpana, and, and uh, Melanie here. So the rest of you all, I would implore you to, as we, as we get smarter as a nation, as the Honorable Prime Minister talks about smart cities and smart India, start up India and stand up India. Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana is equally keen. He's talking about digital Telangana. He's talking about empowering our citizens through digital uh, digitization of services. I would urge you, I would implore you, in fact, um, to try and uh, uh, dabble in, in, you know, in uh, uh, very innovative technologies, innovative solutions, such as Facebook, which will definitely free of cost 
give you the opportunity, give you give you that window of opportunity to reach those people that you would otherwise uh, not be able to reach. Um, for instance, I can tell you also that um, even government of Telangana has been using Facebook very, very extensively when it came to promoting our festivals, when it came to promoting our events that are organized by the state. In fact, even when uh, uh, it comes to uh, announcing uh, decisions that are made by the government to the people at large, our chief minister's uh, Facebook page has 250,000 plus, sorry, 275,000, Keep the count keeps growing every so often. So it's 275,000 followers now, which is highest for any chief minister in the country today. So what happens is essentially when we launch a new program, immediately it reaches about 275,000 people plus their followers. So the kind of exponential effect that there is, and for us, uh, this provides a great opportunity even for us to reach our citizens and uh, be connected, be transparent. In fact, uh, the other thing we are planning now uh, to leverage Facebook also is we are launching another program today called Grama Jyoti. Grama Jyoti basically is about three things, decentralization, uh, combining it with convergence and transparency, which will lead to holistic rural development. So for this as well, what we've decided to now do is, in fact, we're in discussions with Facebook. Um, what we've decided to do is for the 8,700 odd, odd villages in Telangana, we will be creating a Facebook page for each and every village, wherein if somebody wants to know, irrespective of where he or, he or she is in the world, if somebody wants to know what is going on in their village, they can know it transparently from there. Secondly, if they also want to contribute to the village development, they should be able to do it because Facebook also has a lot of integrated uh, gateway mechanisms wherein payments also could be made online. So a lot of people have been talking about how I can donate to my, my, my village, my city, my town, etc. If we can leverage that connection, if we can bridge that connection, and if we can use social media, somebody like Vinay Tumal Palli, who is in, uh, uh, in the US, say uh, his friends or his family, they want to do something uh, back for their own uh, village or town, they can easily log on to Facebook irrespective of what time zone they are, which country they are, and they, they'll be able to donate. So the point is, the, the manifestations, the usefulness, the kind of outreach that can be achieved, I think uh, I can go on and on. But the fact remains, SMEs, the small and medium enterprises, who are all sitting in the room here, you are definitely the backbone of this country because irrespective of what anybody would like uh, to believe, the fact remains that it is about, again, subject to correction, more than 60% of employment created in this country actually is created by the small and medium enterprises, by the, by the people who are actually, uh, um, you know, nurturing their own entrepreneurial skills, who are trying to build their businesses, who are trying to hire more people, who are trying to expand their business. So our chief minister has a very, very firm belief and a philosophy that the big boys can take care of themselves, but it's the smaller guys who need a helping hand. And I congratulate Facebook to, uh, uh, for coming forward, for launching this program in Hyderabad, Boost Your Business, for launching this program in India in Hyderabad, for choosing uh, Hyderabad as uh, the launch pad for this. And I also congratulate them uh, because besides other IT majors, Facebook also has its largest operations in India, in Hyderabad, and we are proud of that. We are proud of the association. So congratulations to Facebook. And uh, for the rest of you all who are here to participate in the day-long session, I hope you grow your business, boost your business. I hope you thrive like the three that I mentioned, and I hope you do really well. Once again, congratulations, and uh, thank you so much.